Uh, with policies uh, like ALMM, which was earlier for modules and now for cells, also help uh, in some way? So the way I see it, Shilpa, is that uh, we are in a growing stage. And since we are in a growing stage, there will be growing pains. And supply chain, uh, even the most sophisticated supply chains have been subjected to disruption over the last three years because of COVID first. And uh, of course, uh, regulation, regulations also have an impact on that. So there is absolutely uh, no doubt that these kind of issues will keep on cropping up now and then. But are they going to be able to derail uh, the, the, the train that we are on? I don't think that is going to ever happen either in the past or that is going to happen in the future. As far ALLM is concerned or the lack of it earlier in the, in the last decade was concerned. So I think for a very, very long time, the priority was to try to get to the least cost of solar unit. Right? And because we were wanting to get to the least possible price of solar in the benefit of the nation, so that is why people were willing, or the, the, the policies of the country was willing to take expo imports from other parts of the world uh, without any duties. But now, as the world has opened up to the new realities that if you want to be truly energy independent, it also means independent supply chains. So that's where the policies of ALMM have to uh, kind of come in. And I think uh, considering the huge enthusiasm that has been shown uh, by some of the bellwether names in our industry to set up these projects uh, for domestic OEM manufacturing as well. Uh, God willing, we should not be having any shortage of capacity anyway.